Good day to everybody watching all over the world and get up and get loud. It's game day here for Europe on this wonderful week of the Rocket League Championship Series. I'm Wave Punk and I've got an Achieves here. How you doing Achieves? How you feel about this Endpoint Dignitas match we're about to watch? I'm doing great. Uh, I think Gibbs makes a great point. Yes, Endpoint's offense has been picking it up for sure. Uh, last week in their match versus TSM only allowed one goal. Granted, TSM has had one of the weaker offenses we've seen this season, but at the same time, Virtuoso and Relating Wave had an awesome week, and they will need that again, no doubt, if they want to beat Dignitas here. And Shogun also makes a great point, saying that, yes, you cannot give up the midfield versus Dignitas, or they're going to get dusted. Yeah, for sure. No, and I mean, Endpoint here right now, two and four, just three OTSM last week, but they've got to try and finish this season strong. Both these teams have double headers this week. They're both playing later on today. So we have Endpoint playing Singularity later, and Veloce will be taking on Dignitas later today as well. So for both of them, this is an important match just to kind of set the tone for the day. A big 2-0 for both of them. It has its, has its implications. It's a little different as we have one team of two and four, one team of five and one. So Dignitas, a little bit more wiggle room there as they're probably already secured a playoff spot. But, you know, you want to be in that top four, get that extra money here. So I'm, I'm excited to see how things go and see how Dignitas bounces back after a five-game loss to Vitality last week. This one should be an easy pick-me-up, you'd think. But also, I think M Point, maybe some people have been sleeping on them. So we'll see how things go as we get into our first game in a best of five. Final Panda through the air into the corner. So we've got Dignitas in the orange and endpoint in the blue. Virtuoso not playing it. Not looking to set up his teammates here. Machital on the side here is relating way through the air, beaten by Violent Panda. Now Yukio just try and take a shot from the midfield, but it goes wide and off to the side. Now Machital to beat another player in the midfield up against Yukio in this corner. Gets it past him and into the midfield. Can a relating uh. way close the gap? No, he's cut off by Astral. Yeah, Virtuoso going for that bump in the net, hoping Relating Wave would uh, have enough faith to go up and get real aggressive for that challenge. That's not a bad approach, and they've got some Ooh. great vision with a great pass into the middle. Relating Wave, unfortunately, not able to find the goal with it, but Endpoint definitely looking for the passes as well. Endpoint has been pressuring this infield play, and so far their passing lanes have been open, and it's made for some exciting first few minutes here. Rochetown falls back on defense. Goes to pick it up in the corner, but actually misses, and then the pinch will go off for Lightning Waves Hood and into the middle. Yukio goes for the bump on Virtuoso. Nachital actually clears him, but Virtuoso makes the touch. And now Astral back to Violent Panda onto the backboard. Is Yukio in a position? The miss from Nachital. Here comes Yukio. He was so patient. And now Violent Panda, the pass across, yeah. and Astral will <laughs> not miss that one. Dignitas score. Goes all the way back to that miss right there from Nachito at the uh, start of the replay. And Violent Panda, that's the right idea. Just go for the pass across. Nachito close to being in position to cut it off, but Astral too quick. Gets to the ball first and shoots it around him. Great dish from Violent Panda. And Astral turns in the first one. Virtuoso now. And Point looking to bounce back. Find a response. Nachital into the corner. Yukio. Midfield, relating wave in. Nachital, does he want to turn on this one? He thinks about it. Violent Panda actually gets it, and Virtuoso closes the gap. Yukio now to midfield. Relating wave. One touch over the top of one. Violent Panda is able to neutralize it. Astral with the touch up to him. Violent Panda quickly adjusts onto the backboard. Nempoint kind of caught flat-footed here. Relating wave closes the gap just in time, and Nachital will be able to get the save. Now relating wave to the edge. Violent Panda with a response, and onto the backboard, Yukio was under looking a different shot. He had a different shot red there. But Astral will keep this ball in the blue and Endpoint starting to get trapped here as challenge after challenge goes Dignitas's way. But Nachito did just get a nice touch. There's a great demo from Violent Panda in the midfield. As soon as Endpoint break out, something goes wrong to force it back into a neutral position as they have to fight for possession just outside the Dignitas goal. And they are finally getting a string of good touches in a row an opportunity, but there is a nice clear. Virtuoso will be able to pick this one up in his own half. Sends onto the backboard. Astral adjusts, finds Violent Panda, and we go backboard to backboard in two touches. Now, high in there, Violent Panda looking to make the play. Yukio off the ceiling. Astral zoned out by Nachital. Now Virtuoso on the dribble. Astral closes the gap. Gets it off of his hood. The lightning wave keeps it high. Violent Panda adjusts quickly. Onto the edge. Neutral challenge against Nachital. Now Astral into this corner. Relating wave past one. 
Here's not Violent Panda with a shot to the far post. Ooh. Virtuoso couldn't figure out if it was in or not in time. And the damage was already done. 2-0 for Dignitas. Yeah. That's a tough one to handle. Violent Panda definitely got a good piece of that. And Virtuoso, it definitely did take him a moment, I think. Because he definitely saw the shot coming, no doubt. But it was just... It, <laughs> that ball was such an awkward angle to be struck from. And Nachito might get it back off the kickoff. Yukio stands tall on the goal. Makes the block. Excellent adjustment, but Relating Wave able to push it in as the bounce in the corner didn't go in their favor, and just like that, endpoints on the board. And it's the demo from Virtuoso in the midfield that makes the difference there. Yeah, they win the challenge against Yu-Gi-Oh on the sidewall, but it's the demo in the midfield that allows that ball to just bounce free right in front of the goal, and Relating Wave gets the nice finish. Endpoint on the board. Can they tie it up? Nachitao turns on Astral. He'll play it to the wall to get it past him, and now through the air, looking to connect with Violent Panda. The pass is good, but an excellent block. Relating Wave gets airborne quickly, and now the infield pass, the counterattack. Is it good? It oh. is. Virtuoso's placement is excellent, and we got a tie game. Surprised to see that one sneak its way through. Yukio, the first one in the middle, but the touch is right to Virtuoso and Astro. You are absolutely right. Virtuoso's placement is perfect. Can't reach it. 126. Endpoint dropped two and immediately respond with two of their own. Virtuoso, there's over the top of one, looking for the double tap, gets it off the net. Relating Wave came in for a shot, and Yukio's got to stop. Now Astral, the equalizer was scored. Can he find the unequalizer here? He's airborne for it, and pushes it back down to Yukio. There's the shot, there's the pass and the save. Relating Wave's got it, but the follow-up from Violet Panda a bit wide. Notch Tao will be able to carry this one out. One minute remaining, tie game at two goals apiece. Notch down Virtuoso pressuring in the net. Look for the dunk, Astral's got the block. Relating Wave, given space, will take control. Now the shot, just upper 90 and missed. Astral with a long touch. Notch Tal with a half-half flip to get back around. Now look for that second touch, too. Off the wall, Yukio versus Virtuoso. He's got it over the top, double tap and down. No, couldn't find it. The second follow-up from Astral, wide and re Relating Wave gets it away. Now Yukio back into the box. Pressure continues here. There's oh, through one. Virtuoso chases. Nice kill in the midfield. Violent Panda to Astral. The infield pass shot is good. Oh. No, not just down blocks. Yukio's follow up. There it goes. Finally, Dignitas make them crack, and they're up by one. Couple of brilliant saves from Endpoint right here. Notch two off the bar, but Yukio, it's that little dip of the nose forward to sink that ball high into the net. That is a much more difficult shot than he made that look, and a beautiful shot from Yukio will give them a late lead. 20 seconds left. Endpoint's got control. Notch Tal pass one. Relating wave airborne. Astral gets it off to the edge. Virtuoso looking to tie it up one more time. 10 seconds left. He's got the pass across. Yukio is there. It's back on the wall. Notch Tal versus Yukio. He gets it past him and then chases it all the way. That'll be the wow. security. And in two seconds left, Yukio wins game one. Yeah, definitely Endpoint pushing hard here. Going aggressive for that midfield challenge on the side wall. But Yukio. Punched it off that top corner into the middle. Clean follow-up. Nobody back because they can't. And a nice finish for Yu-Gi-Oh! to put game one out of reach. A great game one, though, from both teams here. Absolutely. Both teams. I, I honestly thought this was going to be Dignitas running away with game one at the, after the way it started. I mean, the goals they scored were simple calculations, simple sieges. There was an endpoint was making a, made a few mistakes on defense that just gave them openings. And so I figured that was just going to continue here, but Endpoint, the way to bounce back, they find a kickoff goal and then find a seam in the midfield to shoot it through. But it was these final goals from Dignitas that were the security. That shot from Yukio, well placed, like you said, very difficult shot to make because he's already airborne. He doesn't have nearly as much control over his car. He's got to make this read and just find just a slight touch up with that flip in to place it into kind of one. There's a few holes in that goal, but he definitely struck dead center on one of them. Yeah, the, the hardest part about that shot is is because you just saw two players jump, right? And and so it's fairly difficult to get all the way around that ball and shoot that to the left side of the goal, right? And so near post is definitely locked down. You got a guy closing in on you. There's almost nothing you have right there. So his, his really his only feasible shot is that 
uh, top of the net right there and and dipping that nose and still getting the flick is, is a very difficult shot so nice bit of shooting from Yukio it's good to see him really start uh, shining in that striker role despite how last season started uh, I was a little bit worried about Dignitas because I mean they made one or two mistakes Yukio with that pass into the middle to let in point right back into it and that's what caused Dignitas trouble in their series last week versus um, Vitality when they lost that game three in overtime and then they got swept after that. So well done to bounce back and put a great goal in to win the game, yu Well, we'll see how they bounce back here in game two. How does Endpoint respond as they had a valiant effort in game number one? Now yu into a corner. Dignitas will start with his first offensive control, double commit on defense, but Virtuoso manages to stay airborne and actually stay with this ball. Get it over in front of the box loosely. Notch Tower will put it under the backboard. Violent Panda doesn't make contact. Relating Wave will get the shot, and Dignitas just had no response. Real nice job here from Endpoint. That nice little landing. Yukio goes way too wide, just doesn't realize that Nachito is the first one there. He's expecting to have an uncontested touch, and boy was he wrong, because that just got punched off the backboard. And like you said, no response from anyone after that point. They'll have an early goal endpoint now with a lead. They managed to tie it up in game number one, but never had the lead. And Astral says, I don't like your lead anyways. And there we go, tied up. Man, that speed. That was the quickest transition from the wall to the ceiling into a couple of touches that I've ever seen. So well done from Astral to just go up there and get that ball and stick with it all the way through. And unfortunately, the defense just can't get high enough to defend that top left corner. Oh, Virtuoso trying to get a kickoff goal. Yukio will get a block. This placement was nearly good. Nachital with a touch and Virtuoso now clears it to the side. It was on the Astral, so it looked to dribble. Virtuoso takes it away from him. Astral now lofting it once more. Violent Panda through the air, gets one touch, can't find a second and Astral Gets demolished as he tries to move in. Out of that corner off the respawn, he'll find a clear and notch towel. It's his response. Relating wave to the far side. Notch towel through one. Astral wins another challenge, relating wave. Lofted and then chases his own touch, Yukio. We'll touch it out to Violet Panda. Nachitao was able to beat that challenge, that repositional contact. A virtuoso takes really his time feeling. here in the corner. Yeah, they're, and they're doing a great job of, of defending that midfield, which is what Shogun was definitely worried about. You give up the midfield, you give up the game, and Endpoint doing an excellent job throughout this series so far, preventing Dignitas from getting that offense started. Like right there, Virtuoso just putting the pressure on Yukio is all that matters. It's that Nachito is there to get the follow-up, and they nail it. 3.05 on the clock, one goal apiece. One point trying to tie up the series with a win here in game two. The pressure starting to build here from Dignitas. This one lofted, the relating wave should be there first. Neither player will really make contact. Virtuoso can see if he can set up his teammate, but Astral assumes he's not gonna make contact, actually. Now the pass back from Yukio. Here's Astral, but blocked at the point of contact. Virtuoso airborne up against Violet Panda. The shot's nearly good. Here's a relating wave to finish it off. Bounces it oh. off the ground, and Violet Panda's got the read. Now Nachital up back onto the corner once more. Astral over the top, and Virtuoso will pick this up. Punts it and chases. See if Steve can put this off the backboard, but no, Yukio will get there. Well, not to tell. 3 1. Relating wave onto the edge. Yukio. High. Virtuoso will challenge him there. Astral manages to make contact on a strange backflip. Over one. Just tell onto the edge. Astral looks for Violet Panda on the outside. Shot wow. is just wide. A valiant effort from the midfield from Dignitas, but boarded by their own inaccuracy and well transitioned by Endpoint back onto offense here. I was actually pretty worried for Dignitas and Endpoint in that situation. Oh. Astral will be denied by Nachito Yukio with a follow up off the backboard. Where's Violent Panda? There he comes oh. and saved by Relating Wave and a great control touch there from Astral to take that back into his own corner and stay in oh. position to handle that. Here's Yukio on the dribble, looking to flick relating wave, gets up and blocks Astral's follow-up, and now Violent Panda looking to keep the drive going, but Virtuoso will pass the relating wave, and they'll just clear it long down the center of the field. Astral with a touch off the wall, Virtuoso punts it high as his teammate managed to get there. No, they actually fall back and respect Yukio's already in the air. He's out of boost now. 
the clear comes through for endpoint. 107 on the clock, approaching the final minute, still tied up at one goal apiece. Oh, what a touch from Violent Panda. Oh, Astral looking for Yukio. Now we're laying a wave on the counterattack. He's got Virtuoso on the flank, just takes the shot himself. Violent Panda sends a high, now Virtuoso up. Here's the follow-up on the backboard. Yukio's got it away. Violent Panda onto the side wall. Relating wave with a response. Astral's just far enough back to make the stop. Virtuoso will look to zone out the defenders, give his team ball control, but Dignitas is able to get around him, get into the midfield. Ooh. Oh, man. Violent Panda, so smart in the midfield. That approach was not easy, and he sets one up for Astral. Ooh. Ooh. Down into the left side, oh. and Astral turns in another late goal. Dignitas, two games in a row, a goal inside of 30 seconds to take the lead. What a pass and what a setup from Violent Panda. The pass comes through. It looks like he's going to take the shot himself, but instead he just lofts it. Astral's already airborne for it. M points caught flat footed and a strange read. With 24 seconds left, a one goal lead once more. This is about when Dignitas was able to take the leading game number one. Can they hold on to it again here? They were able to get a security goal. On our first game. There's a nice touch though, Virtuoso extending into the corner. Oh. The lightning wave beaten though by Yukio now, and he'll get that one a nice bounce for Dignitas. Notchital will chase this one down, but we're out of time. Is he out of boost? Probably. And they'll bump him off it. There they go into the ground. Dignitas take two games in a row. Well done for Dignitas. Violent Panda having a big couple of touches to break out of in the defense, but also milestone day for Yukio. That two mm -hmm. saves puts him at 400 in his career. So well done to you on the defensive front, sir. Is it four? It is 400. Look at him go. Yeah. Oh man, even. putting up the the big 400. Violent Panda. Speaking of, I uh, think uh, he is four assists away from 300. So we'll keep an eye on that as we get into game three. But he might not hit it in this series, given that they have managed to get the early 2-0 here. And there's a chance that they are able to get the sweep on Endpoint. Endpoint's made a valiant, has, has been strong through both games. Oh, yeah. They've had great moments on both sides of the ball, but they're just not able. I, the, I just want to see their their drives be more successful here. Seven shots to one goal. And only, the, I mean, there was they forced five saves out of Dignitas. They've definitely been putting it on target a decent amount. There's only one shot unaccounted for there, but the... They, their, their drives are just not getting through. Is this is this a Dignitas defensive performance or is this an, an endpoint offensive mishap here? Uh, so I won't say it's a it's an endpoint offensive mishap. I think endpoint has had a, a great job of um, you know keeping the pressure on Dignitas, but it's really just a, a matter of they don't quite have the the real quality goal scoring opportunity. It's not a mishap, it's just a lack of creation. Dignitas have had a, a much better defensive day and they're not allowing any of those great passing plays from endpoint and the leading wave and virtuoso definitely having to work to try and get the offense going, but the defense doing too well. Well, endpoint's got one last chance here. They cannot afford to lose any more games. They gotta win three straight against the very strong Dignitas, Yukio. Goes for the dunk, gets it into the corner, and then demolished. Virtuoso looks to connect with his teammate. Goes back out to the midfield. Astral coming off the ceiling, look for a crazy shot, but nothing's going to come of it. Relating wave, a nice win in the midfield. Virtuoso's up for it, finds the shot, and oh. it's still in. Violet Panda managed to get his bumper onto it, but it didn't matter. Endpoint score first again. Yeah, here they catch Violent Panda in the two-on-two, -two, but Violent Panda's coming into that net so hard, and the only reason he doesn't get it is because he, he really does try to power slide perfectly into the net. And he is oh so close, but he's slightly forward on the goal line, so he gets the first touch, but he ends up putting it in off the bar. Tough break for VP on the fast rotate back. Yukio dropping in the midfield. Notch down relating wave, try to meet up in enemy territory, but Pass doesn't quite come through. Now Astral looking for the carry out on defense. Violent Panda will move up to meet him and gets it onto the backboard. Notch Tau will clear it out. Virtuoso over one. Here's your lightning wave. The three-man play from endpoint blocked by Astral. Now Yukio with a clear over the top of Notch Tau. He has to quickly hit his brakes and turn around. There's a lightning wave up. Yukio's got one beat. Is there any finish? Astral tried, maybe zoned off by his own teammate. Not able to make contact. Now Violent Panda comes oh, in, smart. slow plays this, tries to pick it up quickly, but it does give the rest of Endpoint time to read. Violent Panda will get a demolition onto Virtuoso, though, which gives Yukio some space. 
Now Astral, high, comes back down and Virtuoso. Try to chase, but didn't quite get the, the vault off the wall he was hoping for. Now Relating Wave will be left with ball control in his own back third. And Dignitas again. Going to set up the camp, you can see Virtuoso getting in the faces. There's two big demos oh, and oh. transition. Yukio, the last man to try and get something going. And Endpoint will hold it off despite two demos. Yukio is able to buy enough time while cherry picking. Oh, there's so much offensive opportunity for Dignitas. But the Endpoint defense stands up strong in the box and on the goal line. Now Nachital takes his time here in the corner. Sends it long and high, Virtuoso. Tried to adjust, Yukio will play it right back behind him. Now relating wave to Virtuoso, shut down by Astral into the corner. But Nachital gets all of this one all the way down the field. And Violent Panda, oh. nearly it's redirected. Here comes Nachital to keep it competitive. It's dangerous and in the air is relating wave there in time. He was diving across the field. What was at best gonna be a repositional contact. Now back down in, there's the shot. No, blocked again by Dignitas. But Endpoint is holding on to this one goal lead as we're across halftime. Here's Violent Panda looking to tie the game. Now Yukio over. Astral is just a little bit too far ahead of him, but he does get it back up. Yukio looks for this. It's not going to happen. So he gets it back out to the edge. And Dignitas starting to build the pressure. They have scored on these sieges multiple times. And they're keeping it trapped in the blue once more. Violent Panda a little bit low on boost, but in relating wave, he reads the situation, just tackles him. Now Endpoint looking for that second goal, looking for some security here to give themselves some breathing room in game three. Yeah, to be fair, Endpoint, they've looked good in the midfield. Dignitas are no doubt looking for those crosses in and out of the pitch towards the sides into the middle, and Endpoint are doing a great job closing the gaps, getting in the way of those passing lanes. But at the same time, it's a tough day because <laughs> Dignitas just refuses to let them ever gain possession. Yukio. The midfield was beaten. Astral and Violent Panda now meeting up. Here's Yukio up against Virtuoso. Don't win that challenge. Astral trying. Virtuoso sends this one to the net. Oh. And Violent Panda actually misses. Virtuoso gets a second goal and with 105 left to go. That's two for Endpoint. Yeah, Violent Panda cut forward off that initial Astral touch. And ooh, yeah. He knows he got caught just one step too far. Virtuoso made him pay for it. He still had 16 boost in the tank, but I think he just gave up because he knew he wasn't going to make it. Here comes Violent Panda. Lightning wave out to Nachitao. Stignata is still hoping to finish this one off in three. They've got one minute though to score two and get us to overtime. Astro with the pinch. That's a great start. They've given themselves quite a lot of time to score that equalizer. Plenty, in fact. Astral, great catch, and yes, the command and the double tap off the ground for the ground pinch to get that one stick it to the ground, two, add the power, and a beautiful bit of shooting from Astral. Uncontested for once, and they turn it in. Astral's been pretty strong with the ground pinches this season. And Yukio keeps this one in the blue. Relating Wave's going to have an awkward touch, and Violent Panda gets it back out in front. Here comes Astral, gets it across to Yukio, but it's a little bit too far out of his teammates' range. Now Endpoint will look to transition. They win a nice challenge in the midfield, but Yukio's right there, sends it straight to the goal. Relating Wave with an excellent clear, but Astral will have this one. Back to Violent Panda, lofted. Here's Yukio, a demolition onto Astral. Just opens up space for both of them to move up. Violent Panda shoots to the far side, Ooh. and Relating Wave makes the save, gets it away. Astral with another opportunity, puts it high. He's going to place it back into the midfield. Is Violent Panda there? He thinks about it, but respects that the defense is already airborne. Now Yukio off the corner. Relating wave will beat Violent Panda. Nachitao extends it into enemy territory. Yukio's got a save, but they've got to get the goal. It's not going to happen here as it hits the ground. Endpoint save themselves in game three. We'll go to game four. And Endpoint might have won two to one, but it's the defense that gets the job here in game three, and they take the first step back towards success against Dignitas. Strong game, going for those challenges and preventing Dignitas from getting more of those uh, more dangerous chances towards the goal. But Endpoint, uh, that was a battle on their own half for most of the game, and they did a great job taking a advantage of two missteps from Violent Panda. Not much of one, but two tiny mispositions, and they scored on both of them. Yeah, Violent Panda, you can see him there just a little bit too far forward, a little bit too much faith, and he tried to reach that ball, but it's a difficult read over your back shoulder. 
And so, Endpoint will secure a win, but the easiest of the three wins you have to make in a reverse sweep situation here. And now I would go into what I would say is probably actually the, the hardest of the three wins. As, and Dignitas definitely knew how to handle Endpoint in the first two games. Game three, maybe a little bit of a relaxation of, we've got this, we've, they haven't been able to beat us yet. You see them beat you and then you double back down and you still have that freedom of, we, if we lose this game, we have game five behind us. I think Dignitas is most deadly here in game four. Probably, uh, it's always tough to one, sweep anybody, regardless of how good you're perceived to be or how you think you match up against the other opponent. Winning three straight is always difficult. Endpoint do a nice job. Nobody's perfect. They pick apart a couple mistakes from Dignitas. They win one game, but you're absolutely right. Now the chips are down. You got to come out here, have a strong performance. You can't afford to get trapped in on your own half here in game four. Well, watch Endpoint. All eyes are on them as they are out of lives. Well, Astral touches us to the corner. The Lady Wave with a miss. An awkward touch. Notch Tower will find a clear. And Violent Panda with a quick adjust. Violent Panda rocking the Fennec today. Usually it plays Dominus. Here comes Notch Tower looking for an early goal and actually gets it off the post and in. Endpoint will score first for a third game. The winning touch here is actually that flip reset from Relating Wave. Catches it with the wheel, slows it down a little bit, and then as he lands, gets the bump on the goalie. Nice play, Relating Wave. You earned that one. 4-33, early goal for Endpoint. They have managed to score first three games in a row. Only able to hold on to it once, but this is an early second goal from them, too, in the first minute. Well, it's got exactly what you wanted. Can't afford to get stuck on your own half. Two quick goals, and Astral's struggling to follow that ball as it bounces around the corner and back out into the middle. Doesn't stick on that wall, and the pressure off the kickoff get to Dignitas. Dignitas. Pressured in this game like they haven't been before. Astral nearly finds a crazy kickoff goal. But instead, now they've got to play some more defense. They'll get one stop and a clear. A touch over one. Virtuoso plays it off the wall, and Yukio will look to connect out with Astral, but ball's just far enough behind him. Natchitel's got a free read. Final Panda with one. Relay a wave into the corner. Now the touch back down to Virtuoso. This one neutral, but the rest of the pressure from Endpoint too far back. They won't have a follow-up. Violent Panda looks for Yukio here, and this one goes into the Dignitas corner. Relating Wave up. Shot is good. Astral makes the save. Now Natchitel in the corner. Constantly trying to play it around this left side. Here's Violent Panda looking to catch him oh. on the changeup. Couldn't quite get it through him. They barely get a wheel on it as he got two defenders to bite. A close one for Endpoint. Violent Panda all series long. If he's got space, he's been trying to take it, change pace of play, and it almost worked there. And Endpoint having to work on defense oh. to keep the lead to two, oh. and Yukio gets back to it. On the goal line, popped up and down and out. Oh, the saves were good, and Astral on the far side. Oh, he doesn't get it around the post. It just barely goes down. Here comes Violent Panda in to finish it off, and he will get it through. Dignitas finally on the board in game four. Yukio with the delay touch, it takes a nasty skip, first one to it, doesn't try and jam it home, just throws it right back up there, beats the man, which is the important part, and of course, you can always trust on the captain to be there. Rio 7, and only a one goal game. Dignitas looking to tie it up as Yukio tries to carry it over, relating wave, excellent adjustments in the air to continue with that air dribble and match him. Virtuoso will look for Nachitao. He's got enough boost actually to reach this, but the shot is wide of the goal. A play back in. Violet Panda touched to one. Relating wave a little bit too far up. Nachitao with a quick adjustment. Yukio and Astral both up for this. They've got to get the clear, and they do. Violet Panda not going to make a solid contact, and Astral quickly adjusts in the mid midfield. Now Yukio past one. A double demolition gives us a momentary 2v2 as Relating Wave finds a clear. And Astral now back to Yukio. The shot is good in Relating Wave. Just slow plays and reads. Gets the block. 225 or across halftime, and Endpoint still holding on to that crucial lead. It's a nice touch from Violent Panda actually let that ball go and have Astral try and take it out of their own half. But now they're stuck on their own side one more time. They got to fight for possession. Endpoint, just the midfield game here in game four, combined with the early two goal lead, has been a nightmare for Dignitas to try and break out of. They've had a couple of good looks, though, but the defense back on the goal line has been tough, too. Lightning wave to Astral. 
Back down Violent Pan over the top of one Virtuoso on the backboard. We'll control this to the corner. And gets a bounce that neutralizes Yukio, but now the touch from Violent Panda sends it back up. The guillotine drops. Are they there? They sure are. Violent Panda will tie the game. Wash, rinse, repeat. It worked last time. Do it again. Yukio beats the defense, doesn't try and jam it home, throws it up to beat the man. And who's there? Violent Panda again. Easy two goals. Cleans it up, ties the game. And oh boy, end point. They managed to make a comeback like this in game number one. Now it's Dignitas that has to make the two goal swing. And do they make it? Three. Virtuoso gets up in time to block it. Relating Wave will block the follow up. Well done. The defense holds on the retreat with 125 left to go. End point. They're looking for that lead back. They'd love to make it to game five. As Astral tries, Virtuoso sends it high. Now Violet Panda trying to control it back around. There's Yukio, a touch in the midfield. Astral, the shot is on target. Ooh. Relating Wave makes the diving save. Virtuoso puts it high, and now the counterattack. Relating Wave onto the backboard. Does he have enough for the double tap? Oh, no, Astral. it's blocked. And now the counterattack both the other way. Yukio's shot is just wide. He'll adjust to try and get the pass, but misses. We'll slow down just a moment here, but holy cow, things sped up for a second. That save from Astral was nutty. Yukio tries to pick him apart. Oh. There's Astral to come through and take the lead. And I was just thinking, man, here's the real test for Endpoint. You get the early two goal lead. You're looking good. They work two back and it's late in the game again. And here is where experience, the veterans rally. And now it is just sad times. If you're an Endpoint <laughs> fan or a player, it is brutal here in game four. It can't be sad times just yet. You got 40 seconds left. You've tied it up before, and you're a fast team. Let's see if Notch Down Virtuoso can do it here. They'll look for the pass, maybe. They get one challenge, a bump off Yukio. Oh. Virtuoso turns it around, goes for the changeup on Violent Panda, but he gets the block. Notch Tao Too keeps good. it in the box, though. Relating waves up. Can he get it off of Astral? Nearly does so, but Astral reads him. Now Notch Tao with one last attempt. He's out of boost, and there's the clear from Yukio. 17 seconds left. They're looking for security and the win on the series. Astral tries, Relating Wave blocks, Astral's got control, Virtuoso gets it off him, and it's behind Violent Panda-ish, here comes Notch Tao. five seconds okay, remaining, yeah. can Relating Wave pick it up? Great touch. They've got a little bit of boost from the midfield, Relating Wave now, onto the backboard, Virtuoso? there's the shot, no! Virtuoso, and it's wide, Notch Tao can't keep it in the air, and Dignitas will take game four and the series.